welcome back dear students this is the last class in the compaction that is a field compaction equipment after this we will solve some problems but theoretically this is a last uh, concept okay field com com compaction equipment uh, you might be uh, seen many uh, rollers and bold uh, this word uh, bulldozers uh, which are used uh, uh, for a compaction purpose okay but you technically you don't uh, you may not be knowing the uh, the purpose of uh, that uh, compaction or otherwise using that particular instrument there will be some uh, tired uh, uh, rollers will be there somewhat some uh, bulldozers will be there and uh, like many are there that i will explain in a technical way okay the following are the uh, this generally used field compaction equipments the names are like that the the first one is a smooth wheel uh, wheeled steel drum rollers and the second one is a pneumatic tired rollers and the sheep ro foot rollers impact rollers vibrating rollers and hand operated vibrating plate or rammer compactors one by one we see and we'll understand the the uh, properties of them okay then the first one is the smooth wheeled steel drum rollers you can see in the figure this is called as smooth wheeled uh, uh, steel drum rollers and here one drum will be there and this this is called a smooth wheel smooth wheel means not like uh, it is a uh, smooth to touch uh, 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 not like that uh, this is also a steel one only why it is called a smooth because this surface the surface is there no this surface is very uh, smooth means there is no uh, that what um, bars or otherwise there is no projections on the uh, this uh, roller okay roller surface therefore that is called as very smooth and here the uh, that front side you you can see there are two wheels are there but in the rear side you can see one big drum is there that drum will be with uh, that entire uh, that length is covered here the entire uh, width of the vehicle is covered by that drum okay and inside some heavy uh, that uh, materials will be kept so that that heavy uh, uh, that uh, weight is maintained okay the capacity that uh, roller is measured in terms of that weight only weight of the roller uh, drum and that is about 220 kilo newton to 200 kilo newton this kilo newton if you can convert this is uh, 200 into 1000 newton that is 20 into 1000 that is a uh, 20000 20000 newton if you want to convert it into kg then this becomes uh, Mm, divided by 10.81 actually but divided by 10 if you do then you will get a 2000 you know, 2000 2000 kg it is you can call it as a 2 ton 2 ton okay 20 becomes 20 kilo newton means 2 ton therefore 20 200 kilo newton means it is obviously 20 ton okay means 2 ton to 20 ton capacity will be there and it is a self propelled or towed it is said okay almost all compacting equipments are nowadays they are self propelled and uh, towed propel means push or pull okay there will be some motor here inside that will be used to pull or push the machine okay means it's like a tractor uh, that one driver will be there suitable for well graded sand very important well graded sand and gravel and silt of low plasticity means all type of particles are there in the soil okay bigger size to bigger sizes are there but like boulders are there and gravels are there small particles sand is there silt is there clay is there like that all type of soil is mixed that is called as well graded that is called as well graded means this type of soil uh, compaction is used for well graded and it is not suitable for uniform sand uniform sand means what the sand with the same particle sizes okay the sand particles are same uh, size all the particles are somewhat relatively same size that is called as uniform sand silt or soft clay soft clay wherever the soft clay is there these rollers cannot be used okay why because that soft clay may come and stick to the uh, this surface no stick to the surface therefore that is not used and there won't be good compaction achievement also by by using this roller on soft clay and the second one is a pneumatic uh, tired rollers here you can see this pneumatic tired means these tire surfaces these uh, drum surfaces are uh, made up of tires okay 
there will be tires are there very very hard type of tires are there that will be coated or sometimes the entire wheel may be made up of tire only is usually two axle carrying rubber tired wheel for full width of the track this is a track and a full width uh, that will be covered dead load that is the water here it is written in the bracket means here sometimes what happens this trialed wheel drum will be there no this drum inside they will put a water to have a more weightage uh, to increase the weight of the drum they will put the water inside it is added to give a weight of 100 to 400 kilo newton very important 100 to 400 means what 10 ton to 40 ton that a load will be there okay suitable for uh, most uh, coarse and fine soils okay most coarse means uh, we will avoid this one for fine soils we are using this pneumatic type and unsuitable for soft clay very soft clay will be there are highly high variables uh, highly um, variable soil or otherwise compressible soil highly compressible soils we are not using this pneumatic type rollers then sheep put rollers sheep put rollers means here not this one uh, that the roller drum wherever that is there there will be some projections you can see here some projections are there okay uh, you, you might be seen sheep foot sheep means curry you know, make a boat you know, that uh, that feet will be there no that feet how it will be that projections will be there whenever they move they will make some impression on the ground like that they are called it a sheep foot roller because the projections are there this is also self propelled means self pushing and pulling the drum fitted with a projected club or cup you know, shaped feet to provide a kneading action to provide the kneading action the weight is somewhat 50 to 80 kilo newton will be there suitable for fine grained soils very important fine grained soils sand and gravel with considerably fines that soft clays were avoided by the many equipments previous equipments but this you can use it for soft clay or otherwise fine grained soils. Hmm. Then impact roller. Impact roller you can see here. This uh, wheel you can see that very interesting wheel is there. This is this is a pentagon wheel. When this vehicle goes front, then there will be uh, <coughs> it. This surface will fall. Dhak, dhak, dhak like that. Whenever it moves, dhak dhak karne laga that song you can play because this will uh, this will give dhak dhak on the ground because of that action what happens there will be compaction this type of compaction where, where it is required wherever the lumps are there very hard lumps are there you want to break those lumps and compact simultaneously you want to make these two actions uh, breaking the lumps and compacting there you will prefer this pentagon type uh, impact rollers they will provide impact on the ground okay. and the last one is a vibrating roller vibrating roller um, familiarly you might be seen there will be one drum and inside the drum some uh, mechanical uh, some motor will be fixed uh, so that this drum will vibrate okay that will vibrate and along with that that will compact because this uh, weight will be very heavy so that it will compact and vibrate both actions okay levels and even sometimes it is used for levels and smoothen to smooth the uh, that uh, levels that ground okay that is also used okay. and last one is a hand operated with vibrating machines hand operated uh, plate and a rammer compactor uh, this you might be seen in for a small uh, areas small areas like your uh, cricket ground okay there if you want to uh, compact the pitch then you you can use this hand operated you can take this one and move okay on the ground and it will compact by using some vibrations okay these are vibrating machines that we use uh, in compaction these are compacting machines we use in the field okay thank you very much in the next class we will see the problems few problems thank you